Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Isaac could affect us, or now it was Hurricane Isaac, could affect us here in the Wabash Valley. The National Weather Service in Indianapolis predicts rain from 3 to 5 inches, producing flash flooding, power outages, damage from falling trees, and wind damage. News 10's Gina Gleros has been following the story. She joins us live in the newsroom with details. Gina? Emergency management officials say whenever there is a natural disaster on the coast, there's a good probability that it could affect us inland. The O County Emergency Management's J.D. Kessler predicts it's not going to make a huge impact, but that it's too soon to tell. They're making preparations just in case, looking at their resource manual and contacting various companies for generators and large capacity water pumps. They also spoke with Indiana Department of Homeland Security this afternoon as part of their monthly meeting to see what else is being done around the state. Others are also preparing with folks from West Terre Haute coming by to get sandbags. We like to, you know, do some just basic planning, get things kind of in order so that we know who we're going to call first, second, third in the event we need equipment or, or we need even people. Experts say watch out for standing and running water on roadways and flash flooding. If you can't see the roadway, don't drive on it. Also, if your area is prone to flooding, keep an eye on the weather. Of course, we'll continue to follow this storm for you in the upcoming days. Reporting live in the newsroom, Gina Galeros, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Gina.